Hello everybody and welcome back to Shamrock Valley. So it is the final day of winter today, it's also going to rain very soon, but it doesn't really matter because we're going to be playing in times one, which is real time, obviously. Uh, so we're going to be staying on this day for probably two episodes. There is a reason for this and it is purely because I want to actually stay in winter while I do the live stream, which will most likely be at the weekend, providing I get the time. Uh, so no guarantees, but hopefully. And yes, we're going to be basically doing some... Uh, wood chip work today. We're not going to be making any more wood chips, we've already done all of that, so I'm actually going to listen to my subscribers once again and do the most recommended thing which was in the comments section, which was actually to rent the uh, LT Master, the Go Wheel, and basically bail them instead of just picking them up with a wheel loader. Uh, if this wasn't an option, I would have definitely gone with the uh, very good suggestion actually of um, putting a a rear weight on the back of here with the uh, the mod that you can get and then putting an attachment on the front of here which basically converts uh, this to fit the wheel loader's bucket which is obviously a much larger capacity so very good ideas very good in fact we might still do that providing um, we have enough wood chips left so yeah I don't think we need to do anything else here the lorry over there I'm going to use hopefully to move the bales, the bales of wood chips. Sounds weird calling it a bale of wood chips, but that is exactly what it is. And it's uh, it's a fun thing to do. So yeah, we're going to do that today. Hopefully in the live stream we can do some more of that or some more wood chips or some more palleting or whatever. Um, anything really. So first of all, let's take this over to the yard. Um, Oh, to the, sorry, to the forest. Yes, I mustn't get those two mixed up. Over to the forest. I think it's up here. It is. Nothing to do with the sheep at the moment. So it's all good. Yeah, it's, it's all just in winter, so there is absolutely nothing to do except for look after the animals. But we did that yesterday, and everyone is happy. So that is good. So we just basically have time to do anything we feel like doing, which is rare because usually it's flat out. But at the moment, we can really choose which jobs we should do. That gate should not be open. I should not have left the gate open. Big mistake, Daggerwin. Yeah, so we're going to use the bucket on the uh, telehandler to load up the LT Master, which is currently not even rented yet. And then we'll have to use something to take the bells off the conveyor belt. Probably, actually, the lorry. I might just set it to auto-load and it can just pick them up as they get produced, which would be a very uh, fast idea. Very efficient idea. So uh, yeah, we won't need to keep swapping over from a bale spike to uh, a bucket. So that'd be a nice change because we have to keep swapping over at the moment. I suppose we could use the international as well, uh, but I wasn't going to because I was going to use just this. Right, so there is the big pile. We've got plenty of space for this to work. This doesn't have any traffic this road, so we can just basically block the road if we need to. But first things first, Let's go and get the LT Master. I see this tractor to be a very fitting tractor for us. Oh, we still have some molasses just there. Well, it will still be used because we're going to be doing plenty more pelleting. Uh, straight from the field, actually, in the spring. I look forward to it. So I should think it's going to be in the bale section, the baling section. It's just a wild guess. Yep. It's not going to be cheap. I know that much already, but it's... Um, it's, it's maybe, I don't know if it is going to, but it, it's maybe going to make it worth even more, the wood chips. Hopefully it is, but who knows. So we're not going to spend too much on this. Um, 200 litres is fine. Starter kit. Uh, what do we need for this, actually? Do we, need, we just need the bell wrap, don't we? Pretty sure we do. Ow. Okay, let's see here. It does take me a little while just to familiarise myself with this thing again, because it does take a while to set up. But, I think we should see nothing in here. That is good. I see nothing. And the same for the other side, because we didn't uh, opt to have the uh, starter pack. Obviously, we don't need anything which enhances uh, the material. Silage, it would be. Um, let's just see here. Yeah, so we've got the silage additive tank, which we don't need. But then we have the bells net and the foil. Now, I think we need both of these, but I might be buying something unnecessarily here. We'll just see. I don't want to. Just the one, please. Refill. Which side is it? That side. Um, 
Yeah, I don't know how many this is going to fill, but I should think it is going to be a full load. Ah, huh, almost. We almost made it. Good enough. And the other one, is that going to be... Oh, no, actually, we've got loads here. Wait, maybe that was full. Yeah, there must have been full. And then we have the other one just over here. Perfect. I think that is everything done. It turns out you actually don't need to uh, unfold it to put the sides up. Which makes sense. I don't even know why I thought of that. Good. I mean, good. I'm not guaranteeing anything here is going to work, because I don't have that much experience with this particular mod. Um, but, yeah, I'm hoping that it's going to work when we actually try and also load the lorry. I don't know if you have to be in it. Hopefully you don't have to be. But we will see. Oh, I think we know what it is. So we need to park with the... Oh, not again. This thing over this side. Um, so I think, well, what I want to do is basically have them unloading from the front off to the right, so I think if we put it on the left hand side of the road that should work the best I hope, we will see I might even put it on the road actually, because there's going to be plenty more space if we do that like I said, there's no passing traffic if somebody does turn up then we can just move, but it's highly unlikely um, so yeah, let's just let's just put this here ok, so we'll unfold it and then we'll go back and get the lorry in try and set it up uh, the best way possible there we go that's good plenty of space which is nice we'll put, I think we have to put this side up first if I'm not mistaken because we have some controls in here uh, yes we need to lower the bell slide just there lower the standing support which is just there uh, we then need to unfold the LT Master, which I think is this piece here. That's good. So far so good anyway. Things are working. And eventually we'll turn the beacons off, because we don't need them running. That should unfold. And I think, with the exception of actually turning the thing on, we're ready to go. Let's just see. Yes, I, I would say so. Yes, we are. To celebrate this achievement, let's just turn those beacons off and put the first load in. Or maybe a few loads, actually. I just want to make sure we can produce a bale and not have any issues. So, yeah, there's quite a bit of wood chips here. We're loading 4,000 litres at a time. The only thing is, I've never been that good with actually perfecting where to tip this. Uh, I believe it's actually much better if you tip it from a trailer. So you never know, I might be put it into a trailer first, although that seems to be working fine. I did engage it, didn't I? That is actually switched on. I don't think so. And the side is open. Ah, how could it possibly work if it's open? Aren't I dumb? Right, <laughs> let's press B. There we go, that's better. Good, now it should be working. Now it should all work fine. You can watch the first bell come out. It's probably 4,000 litres per bale anyway, so one bucket load I would have thought equates to that. Which would be good, although it doesn't really matter if it isn't. If it is, though, we can actually count how many bells just by counting the bucket loads. That's very good. Now, I'm guessing the first bale is about to come out because it's just stopped. Is he wrapping it? Um, yes, it's just come out. Right, so, we'll put another one in. I think it is one bucket load, or just actually slightly over one bucket load because it refuses to fill to 100%, but it's good enough. Spilt some. That's not good. Oh, it's already out, look. There we go. I should probably straighten the tractor up. If I can do, I've put the supports down, so it might be a little bit tricky. Yep, that's fine. And here comes number two already. We're going to have to start clearing these. So yeah, we'll park here, hopefully. And it should, if everything goes to plan, be able to pick all this up. The more we can do within the first hour, the better, because it means we'll have to rent it again for another hour. It's very expensive. Yeah, so they need to move. Um, I reckon it's got enough for another one. Okay, no, unless it is going to produce a bale filled with air. 
which of course it isn't. Uh, I think it's auto saving. There we go. That is such a big pile of wood chips. A conveyor belt actually would be a very good solution to this, but then again, that is another expense, uh, which we might we might do because I might get bored with doing this. You know, I think we have an awful lot of wood chips just there. Now we have another fantastic. Let me just try that again. And now we have another fantastic use for the lorry. Let's go. I've decided to keep fails in the video now, uh, since it makes it much more enjoyable. And I usually forget to take them out anyway. What? How did that get there? It's the escaping bales. At least it gives us an opportunity now to try and pick it up. So it's set to standard round bales. It's worked. There's nothing really standard about it because it is simply a uh, wood chip bale. Which isn't that normal I don't think. Although maybe it is. No, no idea. But yeah, let's just open this up. I think you press numpad 8 or keypad 8 as it says. There's absolutely no reason to have it open. It's just a... Oh, not again. It's just a good way of... Uh, be able to see inside, but that looks like it's going to work very effectively. So if we actually had a conveyor belt working here, we wouldn't have to do a thing. It would be so easy. Do we have to keep the engine running for it to water load? Maybe. I don't know. So, that's turned itself off. Maybe the uh, class has turned itself off too. The LT Master. Go wheel. It's a big bucket, but it's not big enough. I think actually the standard bucket might be larger, I'm not too sure. Yes, it must have uh, switched off because otherwise that would be working. I think if you go too far out of range it does... Yes, it turns the engines off. Good. Right, let's crack on. Okay then, well that is absolutely full, and it's producing them all, it seems to be going straight in, look at this, that's amazing, we've got loads. Uh, I think it's double decker, so we should be able to uh, stack right to the top of there. So basically, just keep going, and we should be able to get it all in, I hope. Um, yeah, we're actually getting through that very nicely. Actually, no, I have just been putting that not down enough, but it was, it was totally full a second ago. It's actually quite fun playing in real time. It keeps the rain away. Although, it does make it fairly dull in here because it's never really that light. Although, it's never really that light anyway in here because it's so dark with the canopy of trees. Minus three degrees. Wow, I didn't feel that. Must be though. We've already put 7.8 hours on this telehandler. That is real time hours. That's quite incredible, really. Yeah, we're really close to the end of this. So, we'll keep going. I think there is plenty of space in there to uh, completely fill it. Um, with all of this, I mean. Obviously, we can completely fill it. Although, actually, I say that. You, you actually can't always fill a lorry because you might be over its weight limit. Uh, like a bulk tipper, if it's carrying something really heavy, like hardcore or something like that, you can't actually fill it to the brim, because that would be an extremely heavy trailer. In the UK at least, I have no idea about laws in different countries. 
So yep, yeah, I'll continue, and hopefully very soon we have a full trailer. Now I need to think of where to put it all. I'm busy clearing up the last few pieces. It's very difficult actually to get the last bits, because it is uneven. And also we've got some tree stumps in here. Um, but I think, yeah, as long as we get most of it, it will be fine. Yeah, it's impossible to pick that up. Weird. I suppose, yeah, you would be uh, digging the dirt up if it was deformable ground. But of course it isn't. But maybe one day. Look forward to it. Hopefully it does happen. That's the thing, though. With um, deformable ground, you know, 3D ground, if you can actually dig it up, giants have got to make it absolutely perfect for it to be enjoyable and for it to be realistic, uh, which I'm assuming is why they haven't put it into the next game, because I, mean, I believe they've actually trialled it and they've tried it out and stuff, but obviously they decided not to do it, probably because it didn't seem right, which is much better than putting it in anyway and it really not being that good. So I'm pleased they haven't. It, at least they're looking into it. They're definitely doing it. Well, at least... No, let me rephrase that. They're definitely looking into it. They have definitely tried it. They're not definitely doing it. They've tried it, and, well, hopefully, in a future version, it will be in. They've got to get it right, though. That's the thing, and I think that's what they're really concerned about. Perfecting it. Making it work. Right, so I'm going to call that done. Um, now all we have to do is wait for this to totally empty and for the lorry to totally fill. There we go. Good. There's a bit on the ground there. But otherwise it's all in there. How many do we have? I can't see from that. Oh wow. It's almost full. It must be quite heavy actually all that in there. It's the entire pile. See how it feeds in, creates the bale. It's very clever. I actually have no idea how much is in the hopper, but I'm assuming there is a way to find out. I don't think there's that much. I don't think it holds a great deal. Not sure, but yeah, that's it's going very well. And actually, we can do this all within the hour. So it has only cost us, well, £23,000 only. Uh, but at least it hasn't been more. It could have been much worse. Hang on, wait, the palletizer is still giving us electricity costs. Oh, it's because we're in real time. Yes, that's right. You know what? I think it's going to be a perfect fit. We have space for another three bales in there. I would say there is about three bales worth in there. While I'm here, I'll pick up the piece which I've dropped, although there is actually a bit more underneath, which I can't get to. But I think we're going to be doing this again, so I wouldn't really too worry too much about it being all over the road. Oh, no, I can get under there. That's good. Well, I can get some of it anyway. There is more. It's almost empty. Give it a quick top up. And then we'll be done. That's weird. It's showing one minute past eight in the morning. And actually, at the time of recording this, it's one minute past eight at night. Spooky. It's empty. I don't think there was even enough in there for the extra three bells. It's probably only filled up one of those spaces, so there's probably two spaces left at the back. Yep. Good. Well, that is perfect. That couldn't be better, really, except for the addition of two more bales, but that doesn't matter. Let's go and put this uh, curtain across if we can do. Is it the front we have to do? Yeah, the front. Front. Hang on. Yes. Here it comes. Very satisfying. Okay, uh, I need to return that, actually. I've just checked, and we only actually used it for 0.4 hours. Which means we have just given away 0.6 hours, but we have no other use for it, which is a shame. It would have been good. Maybe I should have done more wood chips first. But it's still a full lorry load, so it's not too bad. Now to turn around, let's see if my Euro Truck Simulator 2 skills have worked in this game. Kind of. It's not too bad. I've seen some crazy driving on that game. I've been driving the Calais to Dewisburg road quite a bit because it's very interesting to see how some people drive. Uh, some people clearly are just crashing for the sake of crashing. Other people are trying to play very seriously, which is great. And some people 
try and play seriously, but sometimes they get a little bit carried away, like I do. And yes, they've got a fairly heavy foot, and then they flip on the corners. So it's it's very interesting. Like three different groups of people who would play it: the ones who just mess around, the ones who play it very seriously, and the ones who try and play it seriously, but maybe aren't that good at driving. But no, it's a very enjoyable game. Truckers MP. That's what you want to be on if you want to play multiplayer. And maybe avoid the uh, CD road, as it's called. I don't know how we actually sell these, but I'm assuming it's just the same way as if it was a trailer load over at the sawmill. The price actually looks pretty good at 419 Is that good? I think it's good. The price is going down, which is a bit of a shame. Um... Oh, that is so annoying. It's been good by the look of it. You know what? That's good enough. For me. That really is good enough for me. Where's the sawmill? Let's go and sell these. It's about time we made some money. It's down here. Somewhere. And I've just taken down the local signpost. What I can make out from this is that we have to go all the way down to the bottom, turn right at the roundabout, and then take the very small track up to the sawmill. I don't know if that is the best way of doing it. I think that is the sawmill there, actually. Um, but we'll see. I'll just take a nice drive through here. A very fast drive through here. Turn right on the roundabout. And we'll see. See if it is the best way to go. It might be the only way to go. Yep, that's it. That's definitely it turn right here. So yeah, I don't know if it's going to accept bales. I hope it is, otherwise what I've just done is a complete waste of time and money. Um, but it will be interesting to see if we actually make a profit on this. Of course we have to take into consideration the chipper, the fuel which we've used to produce these wood chips, and any other machinery, chainsaws, that sort of stuff. That's going to automatically open. Why have I got out? Yeah, so where do we put the wood chips? Let's just see here. Wood chips. Don't know. Don't know. I'm at risk of just unloading a load of bales and then just thinking, why have you dumped a load of bales in our wood chip cell point? Because you might not take them. It's a hopper, which isn't necessarily a good sign. Can you imagine if I go and take them over here and I have to open them all up again? Oh, that'd be so painful. Um. Yes, work mode is still enabled. Let's just try and choose an unload side. That will do. Oh, please no. I will get a bit closer, I think. It's not looking good, is it? Don't tell me that I have just made these bales for absolutely nothing. <laughs> that would be something. Although actually it wouldn't be for nothing because we have actually made it much easier to transport them. Uh, we've brought it into one load instead of doing it in uh, a lot of loads. There's quite a lot of trailer loads here. Um, right. Okay. Yes. What an issue. I'm going to have a think about this. It may be that you can take them to a normal bail cell point. But I don't know. It's not the end of the world because I can open them here. And you never know if I open them, it might go through. In fact, it probably would do. Is it possible to open them though? Okay, this is going to take a bit of thinking about, so I'm going to go, and hopefully by the next episode I have thought of a solution. Thank you so much for watching, hopefully you've enjoyed this wood chip bale wrapping session, and until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.